All right, hi guys. We're out here in the shop today. In a, this C15 we have here, it came out of a wreck truck. This truck that it's in now had a uh, blown up engine and a thrust wash, thrust bearing or something went out of it. So anyway, we took this one out, but as we're, since we already got everything off the truck, uh, we decided to go ahead and put new front main seals in, new oil pan gasket, and we'll pull the pan off, uh, check the crank in play and all that stuff on this. Had a little bit of damage on the peanut cover here, so I've got a new a customer brought one of those over, so we're gonna put that back on. A couple of the little odds and ends, a uh, water pump, but uh, today I'm gonna go ahead and do this front mainsail here, and out of all the flavors, engines, you know, your Cummins, Cat, Detroits, and all that, these are probably my least favorite to do because they're such a hassle to get out. With your uh, Cummins, you actually use the installation tool to pull the seal out, which I've done videos on those in the past. Uh, with these ones, you gotta kind of pry them out a certain way. You gotta be really careful when you're doing it because this around here is all aluminum. Uh, so you kind of got to get this pried up a little bit really easily. Then we use a pair of channel locks to lock onto it and then pull it against the crank because the crank's hard and steel. And you just got to keep working your way around until you finally get it out. So I know we've had a lot of people asking to kind of do these little vlogging videos. So I'm not going to get too in depth as far as exactly what I'm doing on this. Eventually, once uh, Sophia, my wife and business partner, once she comes fully into the business and is here every day, we're going to kind of do some more like actual live videos and stuff going on here in the shop. So uh, with that guys, we'll go ahead and get started on this. Yeah. So like I said, first thing, gotta kind of pry this out a little bit without damaging the casing. So we just gotta kind of pry this lip up here. And like I said, this is aluminum. So it's okay to pry against this cause that's not where, this is like a chamfered edge here, I guess you could say. So this isn't actually where the seal sits. And this thing will come out of here in two pieces. And the other thing I try to do is try to clean this out really well. I mean, on this engine, we're taking the oil pan off after we do this. So if there's any debris, dirt or anything in there, we can clean it out. But if you're not taking the oil pan off, you don't want to drop a bunch of dirt down inside the engine. And I'm actually gonna spray some of this out. So I just wanna get all of that like that. Like I said, these, these kind of suck to do. Once you get it started, they usually come out pretty easy, but the hard part's getting it started. <laughs> And I actually have done these with the radiator in the truck before. It's a little bit trickier, but it is possible to do. It's obviously a lot easier doing it like with the radiator out. But if you go to a shop, especially if you got like a 379 Peterbilt or a W9 or telling you need to pull the radiator, you might want to get another second opinion. So there's the first part of it. And this come out in two pieces. Oh, no. 
like I said, you always want to pry against the crank on these, not this aluminum housing, because you can crack that or break it. And that's it. So that's how you remove a uh, Caterpillar C15 front main seal and the uh, rear main seal is the same process. The only difference is the front main seal is green, the rear main seal is blue. So I use this non-coordinated brake cleaner, so it dries pretty quick. It, it does a good job of taking that old uh, green seal material off of there. And plus if it gets in the oil pan, it evaporates pretty quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything cleaned up here. Uh, so this is something kind of new we're doing, just some kind of casual, uh, not so much how-to videos. Uh, eventually, like I said, we're gonna do some live stuff uh, once uh, Sophia's helping out a little bit more down here. Um, so stay tuned. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, give us a thumbs up, as always, like the video. So um, thanks again, guys. We'll see you next time.